Welcome to CMI Books. We hope you find these resources useful and educational. It's our goal to create quality tools that you can use at your own pace to learn Autodesk products like AutoCAD and Civil 3D. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the CMI Books interface so that you can focus on the content. When you log into CMI Books, you'll see a list of all your available assets. The title of the book will appear on the left, and this title is a link to the book, which will open in a new tab or window. To the right of the book title, you'll see a link to the corresponding project files. The link will begin the download of a zip file containing drawing files that correspond to examples and exercises within the book. It's probably a good idea to download all your drawing files into one organized location before beginning with a book. Once you've got all your project files in place, click on the book you'd like to read. The resulting page contains a Flash-based book reader. If you don't have Flash Player installed, a missing plug-in warning will appear. Simply click on the icon to begin downloading and installing the free Adobe Flash Player plugin. When the book opens, you'll see the title page and table of contents will be open in its own pane on the left. This table of contents can be toggled using the button in the bottom left corner of the reader. Some items in the table of contents can be expanded, and clicking on an individual item will jump to that page. Another way to jump to a specific page is to hover over the page number at the top of the reader. It will change to an input box, and you can enter the desired number followed by the return key. There's also a button to toggle thumbnail views if you prefer to find a page graphically. To make the book more readable on your screen, you may want to take advantage of full screen mode and or zoom in. You can zoom in with the zoom button or by clicking on a page. When you're zoomed in, move your mouse up to scroll up and move it down to scroll down. Simply click on the page again to zoom out. Zoomed in or not, an easy way to move through the pages is to roll the wheel on your mouse. Though you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard, the arrows next to a page, or the buttons on the bottom right corner of the viewer. There are also buttons to move to the beginning or end of the document located in the bottom right corner of the viewer. The reader also has excellent search functionality so that you can find just what you're looking for quickly. Enter the search terms into the box in the top right corner of the reader. The display of the current pages will change to highlight the text you searched for and a search pane will appear on the left. The search pane contains all the results for your search throughout the whole book. Each of the results here is a link that will take you to the specified page number. At the top of the pane you can also change your search terms or close the pane. Throughout the book you'll notice links to videos which correspond to the topics you're learning. Clicking on a video link will play the video in a new window or tab. When the video is done, simply close it and return to the reader. The last page of a book also contains a complete list of videos with descriptions for quick reference. Finally, you can add bookmarks to save important pages for quick future reference. Just navigate to the page and open the bookmarks pane. Enter a note to help you remember what's important about the page 
and hit add. These bookmarks will be available to you every time you log on to CMI Books with this computer. Thanks for watching this introduction video. We hope that you find your books educational and enjoyable.